Crop Duster. This one surprised me in many, many ways, which surprised me because this is certainly one of my top 15 favorite Pearl Jam songs on Riot Act. This is for John David Brooks, Josh from Holland, Anthony Wells, but with an S instead of an E, and Wells, Robert Flanagan, Electric Bible, and Nikki Doto, and Chad Miller. Thank you so much for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Everybody, if you would like to join that fun, the link is in the description. Here we go with Crop Duster. The very beginning is the first surprising thing. You think it's going to be like, yeah, and uh, and uh, and uh, but it's not. It's just put your pointer finger on the first fret of the E string and pluck down three strings. And then change it to the third fret of the E string. First fret of the A string. Now you're going to pluck down three strings from there. So A, D, G, and then third fret of the A string. And then D. Four in your D sus two with your pinky finger and your middle finger to your heart's content. Uh, but I think I heard so like you know. Uh, but I think I heard in the very one of the two guitars doing this almost the same thing, but not quite the same thing, uh, which makes it kind of hard to pick apart. But I thought I heard the G string go from two to open at the end of that. Uh, now we're playing at the end of that D chord. So I like to combine it in that fashion, but do whatever D thing you like to do there, it doesn't much matter. But taking your pointer finger off the G string is convenient for going back to the beginning of the riff that we now realize is very simple. So... But the second time, that's all the further you get, of course, because it stops after that third uh, part of our little series there and just plays an open A string, but that open A string is the beginning of the verse, so it'll be And then we play the verse, but that is the beginning of us playing the verse The verse, so we've played the open A string and then your left hand is going to have already gotten itself ready on F shaped A That's an F shape that is an A, so F, right? One, one, two, three uh, G, A, and you're gonna Pluck, again, the A string, and then the D, the G string, and then the baby E string, 7th fret, so use your pinky, and then down to the 5th, and then the B string, and then the open G string. That sounds weird, but in context you'll see that it, it works, and it helps you get down to what you need to do next. Go to C add 9, so it's like a G, but with these two fingers down towards the floor by one string, and you strum once. And four more times, but on the fourth, your hand comes off because you're going back up here. So... Now we're going to a G. You hear somebody go... The G sus4 there, so I'm gonna play Tom Petty G. You could do that a lot of different ways. You could, well, you could do two different ways. You could do it this way, um, if you like, with your F shaped G, which that makes sense. But then the reason why maybe that's not it, maybe it is you can if you want. I like this one better because we're gonna change our shape anyways and go to what would be an F bar chord if we were barring the baby E and the B strings. We're just gonna play everything about the bar chord except the bar. So give it a strike and then plug A, D, open E, open B, open G. It's not an open, so G too, like it is. Or start on the D string. Da, da, da. The second time we hear the G go not sus4, but uh, whatever this would make it. On the D string second fret, that's an E, so it's a, it's a G6. Let's use power chords. We left off after the chuggy E chord at the end of the last part. Now we're going to play G sharp. That's the fourth fret of the E string to 
the C sharp, the fourth fret of the A string, so that's easy. And then up to the sixth fret, seventh fret. This time you hang on the C sharp and make it a C sharp minor chord with your middle finger on the B string fifth fret. I was a fool because I C D E. And then it continues this bomb bomb theme, but it's G open chord, C open chord. D E. C, hang on D. Now, of course, this isn't one of those signature solos. Mike plays it a little different every time he plays it, so I'm not going to show you exactly what it is on the record, but roughly what it is on the record, so you can capture the gist, is uh, he starts in E minor pentatonic, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, with the notable addition of B13, and that's where he starts off, pulling off from B13 to 12 and then landing on that G string 12th fret. Pluck them one more time, and then you can E minor pentatonic away a little bit, bend the G14. It starts kind of the same for the second little hunk there, but this time we're gonna land on G14, so start out your same pull off, and make your way up to B15 and bend that. Live, a lot of times you hear him grab that baby E string on the 15th fret as well. So, there's one more little hunk of E minor before we go down to A minor, curiously, and we're going to start on the B string 5th fret and do something fast in A minor pentatonic, which is of course the same shape as the E minor pentatonic, but starting on the 5th fret. And then he definitely bends B8 and then does something fast. So do something that you like to do fast in A minor pentatonic there for the end of the solo. I don't know why I like to end it. I like to end it on that G string fourth fret, which is not in the pine, the piner pentatonic, but it is again another note that works just like that B thirteen. It's in the major scale in question, or the minor scale as it were, but not the pentatonic. Anyways, do your thing in those two keys for that many hunks. Yeah. Oh yay, this verse is one of my favorite stone moments. It's the, a much simplified version of the other verses, so breathe. You're just gonna grab the fifth fret of the B and the E strings. And do your same. C add nine. goes the same as it did until we get to the bridge. Except for I just noticed that if you wanted to play uh, major and minor chords for the parts, C sharp would be minor, D sharp or E flat would be major, and E is major of course too, so. Which I don't know if that's been there the whole time or, or if I just heard it more for the second time it happened. Anyways, do power chords or that either time, doesn't matter. All right, the bridge comes out of where we would have hung on C, hung on D at the end of the chorus, but we're not going to hang on D. The hang on D becomes the beginning of the bridge, the progression for which is, let's do power chords on the A string, E, C, A, C, D, and then it does the bum bum from B to E, that's frets 2 and 7. Seven, three, open, three, five. There's five measures in that bridge. It's weird. It's a Pearl Jam bridge, no surprise. But what I love about it is that they found another way to do the bomb bomb in yet a different key and another thing I was surprised by. I don't think I consciously realized that happened in three different, it's G sharp and C sharp during the pre-chorus and then it's G, C in the, just for visual purposes, right? And then in the bridge now it's, it's B, E, really freaking.
freaking cool. But I think, I really think there's a guitar doing this really neat part during the bridge, uh, on the recording anyways. Grab E octave, so A7 and G9, and you'll, you'll recognize that G string wailing away that doesn't change, but the bass note's gonna change from E to C twice. So that was four measures, and for the fifth measure we're gonna go to an E power chord super quick, down to D, joining the rest of the progression, right? And then doing the... That's why I would suggest using your pinky so when you do that E power chord... All the fingers but one are already in position. works because obviously when the band is playing E, we're playing E's, and when the band is playing C, we're playing an E and a C, which is C's root and major third, but then when the band plays A, we go back to, or this guy goes back to playing E's, and that works because E is the fifth of A, so it uh, sort of weaves its way in and out of which chord of the progression, just this simple little thing in you know different ways uh, It's in which it's participating. And then the outro is just the intro, so you're going to do your, uh, whichever guy here from the bridge you decide to do, you're going to do D, your last B, the first half of the bump bomb, and then you go straight into, so. And then it's just this over and over again, I just figured out the, uh, the time signature of this, it's in 6-4, like the fixer another Matt Cameron pen, right? So, one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six. It's in six four. That's why it's so hard to tap your foot to and it's doing, you know, in, in sets of three so it doesn't match up. Awesome. Crop duster. Now we've done it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the request, guys. And I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.